How's it going guys and welcome to a rant video or a critique video. I don't know what this is, but I want to quickly talk about something in Destiny 2 that has been irking me for a while now and I'm shocked that not a lot of people have talked about it and that my friends is the HUD specifically the buff and debuff so on the left you can see their compulsive reload chill clip one quiet moment that area of the HUD is what I have the biggest issue with and I've been talking with my buds about this yesterday and that conversation is what entirely sparked this video and I want to talk about why this HUD sucks and what they could possibly do to fix it. So, first off, this HUD is not new. I mean, ever since Destiny 1, this the uh, the buffs and debuffs and all that being on the left side makes sense, right? It's always been that way, and they haven't really changed it at all. Um, and it made sense back then, but now that we have subclass 3.0 and we have all these different you know pieces moving together, it's getting to a point where there's just so much information that the HUD cannot sustainably um, show everything at once and it gets really confusing on what you perks and stuff you have active at a given point. So just to show you, right? I already have compulsive chill clip at one quiet moment already. Already, that's already like a lot of information and the problem is that the HUD only restricts you to only four at a time, um, to four kind of nodes at a time and sometimes stuff gets over in so for example right i have one quiet moment right and just to say real quick i really appreciate bungie's change to update the icons for this uh for weapon perks and all that stuff makes it so that's easier to tell what buffs and debuffs are enabled so it's really nice on that but that's besides the point so just to quickly show right so i'm gonna go quickly see so if you see there i have one quiet moment active right now let's say a a tincture, a queen's foil, which should, should make me ascendant, right? Which is a buff. It should put it on top of that, but instead it overrides one quiet moment. So all of a sudden, I don't even know I have one quiet moment active right now. And it's just showing ascendance. And that's a big problem because I can't tell if I have, if I'm in the middle of a gunfight or if I'm, you know, just running around, I don't know that I have certain buffs or debuffs enabled. So let's say I go over here. Thank God a, uh, a public event is happening. The Ascendant buff is always active, so that should be a good example, right? And this is a good example simply because in a lot of scenarios like strikes and raids, especially where you have buffs, um, specific raid buffs, like for example, you have the Suppressor Roll in Deep Stone Crypt, or you're, um, you know, you're leeched from Vow of the Disciple, right? You have those buffs always on the left side. And the problem is that when you have an overload of information like this, right? Just to let you know, right? So let's say I freeze this guy, get this. I have charged with light. All of a sudden, I can't tell that I have chill clip or uh, what is it? Or compulsive reloader anymore. All of a sudden, those buffs are suddenly gone because I, you know, just removed it. And all of a sudden, you know, they just popped up again. So let's say, let's try it again, right? So I freeze this target. Let's say I freeze this target. Come on, you can do it, buddy. There we go. See, all of a sudden, the stasis weapon boost overrides, for some reason, the the compulsive reloader and chill clip. So I don't even know I have those buffs. Even though I can see it visually on my gun, it's not there. And it, it just keeps on popping in and out just randomly. I don't understand why this, this UI is so clunky when it comes to this showing the information here. Um, it, it, like disregarding the fact that it, it can only show four things at once. The fact that it sometimes just disappears like multiple it just makes multiple buffs and debuffs disappear. Just makes it super, super annoying. And honestly, I hate, I hate that because it means that I can't be informed of what information has be has to. Um, and overall, I hate this because it makes me unaware of what buffs and debuffs I have going on. When it comes, especially when it comes to builds and stuff and subclass 3.0, I want to know what do I have currently on. For example, if I'm radiant and stuff like that, void overshield what if i have rampage enabled sometimes rampage just disappears from the ui so i don't even know i have rampage enabled until you know some buffs go away so yeah it's get it gets really annoying and i think this entire thing needs to change so i'm gonna go into some recommendations or some ideas and here so here we go so one idea i had this is i photoshopped this like a couple months ago about how they can improve it but yeah so one idea that i had a couple of I guess months ago was the idea of integrating specifically weapon perks 
into the back of a weapon as like holograms. Now this is more of the, I'm kind of approaching this the more of the dead space slash AW style where the UI is integrated inside the world itself. So in this case, for example, right, this fusion rifle has the, has reservoir burst and stats for all. And obviously you have the Amalon fluid dynamics perk in the middle there. The idea here is that this is, this shows up as holograms on the weapon itself. Um, so that way it clears up all the weapon perks. So, you know, the weapon perks are separate. That way you can have better, more space, or you have less clutter on the left side of that or traditional one. And that way it prevents any over potential over cluttering even more with the weapon perks. And even though I, I sort of like this before, but nowadays I don't think it really fits the world per se, but, um, some other ideas I saw. So this one is actually the one that I would go for. Honestly, one of my favorites. Um, this is one by FM Lad. Um, I love this guy uh, for showing some concepts like this. But yeah, the idea here is very traditional like an, for an MMO where the they show up as icons on the screen rather than as full text. So you can see here um, the buffs and debuffs from the world itself. So stuff like pervading darkness, stuff like frostbite from raids and stuff like that. Anything that's raid or like I guess worlds uh, activity specific can still be on on the left side but it's only going to be these buffs and debuffs that are going to be shown there instead all the buffs that pertain to your weapon and your character are all in this bottom page and it's really nice here because the point of a UI is to really display all the information that's needed in a very simple and very clear way and this way you can see all the icons now obviously people are going to complain about oh i don't know what the icon is but nowadays perks like chill uh, kill clip and stuff are so i guess so well known or like it is so iconic that i don't see why you wouldn't just learn uh what the icon is i guess my only concern is that maybe the icons could be too small if so much is going on but i theoretically don't see you having this many buffs at like one point so I think this would be a great compromise and I think this would honestly be perfect for the current state of destiny and I think Bungie should really consider this concept at least. So yeah, I just wanted to give this quick video about ranting about the UI. I hate this buff you uh, debuff situation of the HUD and I would love to get it fixed just so that I know what the fuck I'm running in my builds or if my builds are actually working. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and I'll talk to you guys later.